Hi everyone. Hello. It's time for the Walt Disney World Hall. The Hall. The Hall. <laughs> this is the bit we've been most looking forward to. Uh, we've saved the best to a last. So if you've watched the other two halls, you've got the uh, Florida Hall where we've got a load of candy and Oreos and other stuff. <laughs> there is other stuff in there as well. <laughs> yeah. And we also did our Bath and Body Works Hall uh, this week as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed both those halls. But we are excited to show you our Walt Disney World purchases. Yes. This is the main one. So the first thing we're going to start with is just to say that all of our purchases we got 20% off using annual pass discount. So highly recommend having a look at an annual pass. Mm -hmm. It may even be worth doing it for one of your party just for a two week trip because if you get, we got 20% off merchandise, Yeah. we got free parking at $22 a day. So if you are staying off site, and also we got 10% off in select restaurants. And this isn't completely accurate because we missed some receipts, but roughly we saved $159 on merchandise and dining discounts. That adds up. I, uh, you think about a two week trip, that is a lot of money. And $110 on um, parking. So $269 is what we saved roughly this trip. It may well be close to $300 just purely because um, some receipts we haven't got but um, we also were on site for some of this as well weren't we yeah we were yeah so bear that in mind it's definitely worth looking at for one person maybe yeah and uh, if you do more than one trip in a year then obviously definitely that, those savings add up again yeah and just talking about annual pass holders we'll start with these actually because you do get some freebies with annual pass holders mm -hmm. and this year at Epcot Food and Wine they were doing an offer where the first visit you get a magnet. A magnet yeah. to go on the car. Really cool little magnet for your fridge or your car. I like this. Um, Mickey on there, which is Luke's favourite character, so that's always a bonus. Yeah, and then on your fourth visit, so after you've gone four times, you get the coveted... Dun, dun, dun. Mickey chopping board. We got it. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so a really cute little chopping board, but a freebie and something just for being a pass holder. It's nice that they give you that. And actually, um, what a lot of people were using this for, they were getting the characters to sign it. Yeah. So instead of an autograph book, which is kind of like a quirky way of getting autographs, isn't it? Yeah. To sign the board. They came a little pass holder back. And that was completely free. So again, there's little things they do. And during the Flower and Garden Festival, there was also a magnet. So it's definitely something to think about. And you also get the pass holder uh, separate entrance to the parks. Yes. And they pro they've proved very useful to us when the parks have been very busy and we've just sort of slipped down the side and got an annual pass holder line, which is very good. Yeah. And we've done our absolute best to retain the pricing for everything. We keep all our receipts. We've got them here. Because <laughs> <laughs> we know how much you, you're always asking, like, how much was that? So we try and do our best to keep all the receipts. Keep the receipts for you. So, so. Um, yeah, we've hopefully added it up and we've got, I think, pricing for everything, so you know. Mm -hmm. So, um, should we kick off with what we're wearing? Yes, let's kick off with what we're wearing. <laughs> you go first. So, um, if you watched our mini vlogs, you'll see that we went to the DVC Moonlight Magic event at Hollywood Studios. Yes. And we were kindly invited by uh, two separate people, so thank you very much for those invites. Thank you so much. So, whilst we were there, I had to pick up the DVC Moonlight Magic t-shirt, because it has aliens on it, and I'm going to try and sit up now so you can kind of see that. So you've got Slinky Dog, you've got the aliens, and Willow wants to get in on the action. Yeah, as well our cat behind. Willow's behind. So she may well get involved. She likes a haul. Yeah. So it's the Moonlight Magic t shirt. Um, I had to get it. It had the aliens on it. So that was the best selling point there was. Um, and that was $27.99. And I got one that I saw loved straight away. And it's just got loads of like Tomorrowland, Yum, Yo Ho Yo Ho, like all the Magic Kingdom kind of Disney stuff on it. Liberty Square, Yum. Yeah. And that one was $24.99. Yeah. Sorry, some things I've screenshotted on my phone, so I'm like <laughs> holding up the, the pricing. <laughs> so yeah, they were kind of our first clothing purchases. Yep. I'll let you go next. Okay, cool. I'm going to go with a mug because we love our Disney mugs. Yeah. We're keeping an arm Willow behind <laughs> just to see what she's up to. <laughs> um, Sneaky little thing. I'm going to start with this really cool Chippendale Rescue Rangers mug. It is so cute. You've got Chippendale on there and their Rescue Rangers outfits. Look at that. And it goes round and you've got 
on the back. And yeah, we hadn't seen that mug before, so that was $13.99. So really, really chuffed with that. So we have got our guest star behind us, Willow. <laughs> She loves to be part of the hall. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way she just sort of like sat right between. sat between us there. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. So do you want to go on to your next first mug? Yes. So first mug, well, after yours, was the Up mug. So this oh, one I says... Oh, I love this mug. We absolutely love this one. So this is a must for us. This is Adventure is Out There. So you can see that on there. And then if you turn it round, you can also see the house. The famous house with the balloons. Now, this was one of those things, and I always say this time and time again, but we, as soon as we saw it, we were like, yes, this is a must. We have to buy it. It was a definite purchase. Yeah. <laughs> and adventures out there is, like, the it's, truest words ever spoken. And it's got the grape cider at the bottom as well. Yeah. Um, and cost-wise, this was not a uh, thirteen ninety nine, so not too bad. Yeah, it's and good. I think I was prepared to pay a little bit more anyway because it was such a great mug. Yeah, I'm just watching Willow behind. <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> You're really just sitting there, just enjoying this. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Yeah. So yeah, that was the first purchases. We also got our resort mugs. Where's the resort mug? Oh. So we didn't actually know about the Halloween one before we got there, but Brogan told us in the airport lounge, didn't she? I she think. did, yeah, Brogan Tate, yeah. So thank you, Brogan. Um, so as soon as we got to Beach Club, we went and picked up our resort mugs. They were $20, mm -hmm. and I think it was nineteen ninety-five. <laughs> $20. <laughs> it obviously allows you free refills in the resort, in any Disney resort. So we took these to Polynesian one night, yep. and just filled them up as well. So the chip works for two weeks from your activation. Yep. So we got our money's worth big time on these. Yeah, and there was a lot of choice. So it's the Coke Freestyle machines that you can use it in the resorts. So, I mean, I was in my element because I could get the diet vanilla Coke. Yeah. So I was like, yes, keep filling this one up. They've got so many choices, sugar-free, caffeine-free, absolutely everything you could want. So yeah. really, really good. So Willow has safely gone to sleep, so we can continue. <laughs> <laughs> so let's kick off with another nice item. Yeah, this is really cool, I have to say. So we're big fans of Jenga, and we bought the Hollywood Tower Hotel Jenga. Look at that. So it's a little cool. bit of reflection. Hopefully we can... Uh, yeah, hopefully we can get it like maybe sideways. Yeah, that's it, yeah. So that was so, so cool. So it says the Hollywood Tower Hotel on it, Jenga. And I've never ever seen this before, so I don't know if it's new, but I've just never seen it, so we have so to get cool. it. What's it say on there? Um, on that side? It says, on a stormy night, five people step through the door of an elevator and into a nightmare. Uh, yeah, there we ah. go. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. So, uh, and it's even got the um, bellhop saying, your room is ready on the side. Yeah. Which is cool. And this was twenty nine ninety five. I think the only thing to bear in mind is the weight. It is a little it's bit heavy. It's quite heavy, so yeah. But we're happy. Yeah, can't I'm wait happy. to play it. That'll be one of our Christmas plays. I was going to say Christmas. Yeah, this is coming out of Christmas. Yeah. yeah. Um, moving on to another amazing purchase, and this is a lovely lantern. Uh, it's going to be quite hard to come out on camera because of the kind of reflection, but it's got like the castle in all four little all stained four glass bits, and it opens up. And obviously you can pop a candle in there and just have the castle. So we just thought, we recently had the living room decorated, so we thought it'd be really nice to have that in here. Yeah. Really tough with that. And I actually used some of my birthday money to buy that, so it's an extra special present, because I always like looking at things around the room that I know I spent my birthday money on. Yeah. So that's going to be one to remember. Moving on to a pin. Yes, yeah, so we've got a few pins. Got a few pins. So this one is to celebrate our first ride on Slinky Dog Dash. How amazing is that ride, seriously? So, if you, yeah, if you're thinking of riding Slinky Dog, it's just an amazing, amazing ride. Really good. So, so we, good. of course, we had to buy the pin. So this one was 12 99 so it's in the blue category. Um, but it is great, it's got Slinky Dog sort of diving through um, the, the, the logo, and yeah, I love it. So, really good, really good purchase. And I'm gonna continue with the pin and we went to the boardwalk and this is kind of a funny one because we haven't got on a Surrey bike yet but every time we go we <laughs> say we want to do a Surrey bike and at boardwalk you can do it you can just rent it for half an hour or an hour I think yeah and this pin we bought it in the boardwalk shop and just thought it was really cute but it will remind us that we need to do that so yeah. on a future trip watch this space 
we twelve ninety nine that one. Yeah. And um, I from memory I think I did video on the full vlogs the price of the, the bikes. So I got that to come. I did get that on there. Um we haven't done anything food related yet. No so food. Let's, let's do some food. Sadness popcorn. Oh, it's so colourful. Sadness popcorn. How could you say no to that <laughs> face? Seriously. <laughs> Oh look, and you can't leave Walt Disney World without popcorn, in my opinion. So this flavour was blue raspberry, Ooh, nice. but ultimately I bought it because of sadness on the front. I couldn't say no to it. No, so, it's very cool. Uh, Five ninety nine for that pack. You get quite a lot of popcorn in these packs, so I think it's quite good value. Yeah, and I got some Goofy Sour Sweets, so from Goofy's Candy Co. And this was from World of Disney. And this one was, I think, five ninety nine. I can't see the price anymore, but I think it was five ninety nine. I memory. think it was five ninety nine. Yeah, so we'll enjoy those. Yeah. Um, one thing we just want to add is that a lot of valuables come from Florida, and we buy these plastic boxes, and they're from the container store. The container store is next to Mall at Millennia. It's, cut, it's opposite, so usually when you come out, it's just opposite. And I think these boxes were about one dollar eighty nine with the lid. So they're really, really cheap, but they are fantastic for just putting in, like we put all our pins in the smaller one that Rich has got, all the pins in there, nice and safe. And then if you've got any like valuables, like often like mugs will fit in and things like that. So highly recommend just buying them, put them in your suitcase. And they're also really good with liquids. Mm -hmm. So yeah, top tip from us. We've used these for four or five years now. Like, and they've never failed us, seriously. No. And they've ensured that really valuable things have come back in one piece. Yeah. So, really good tip from us. Um, I will do, I'll do another pin, because we've got I a know which one you've got to do. Yeah, I've got to do it. This one's been waiting for this one. Toy Story Land, to celebrate another first ride for us, was Alien Swirling Saucers. Like, it had to happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a pin with aliens. It's a pin with aliens, it just had to happen, so... You know, and we absolutely loved Alien Swirling Saucers. It's a cool little ride. It's not adrenaline filled. It's just a nice, brisk swish around, isn't it? So it's not spinning as such, but you know, really good fun. Really good fun. So this one was I just lost the title. It's twelve ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah, it's a good job you know. Yeah. <laughs> this next thing I can't. I, I was going to try and leave this one till like best till last, but I, I have to show you now. It's a Christmas decoration. Uh, Christmas is coming. It's coming. And this was from the Days at Christmas store at Disney Springs. Yeah. And look how cute it is because you've got um, you've got Dale on that side. There he is. And you flip it round. Oh, and you've got Chip. And it's just so nice. I can't wait to put this on our Christmas tree this year. Can you? That is going to go like centre stage on the Christmas tree. I know yeah. it. Every year we try and buy a new one, yeah. and this one just immediately both of us were like, that's this year's Christmas decoration. That is the one to go like centre stage on the tree, prime position. And it's blown glass and it was twenty seven ninety nine. Yeah. So it's, these ones are pricey, but they are quite big and they are just lovely. So. And Chip and Dale are always special characters for us because we have such great interactions at Disneyland Paris and also at uh, California Grill. At uh, Garden, Garden Grill. Grill, sorry, Garden Grill. Yeah. Um, so we had to get that. Um, I will do this cool little cup, and you've got one as well. Yes. So I'll let you show yours. Uh, it's yours, Mickey. Yeah. Uh, Mini. Oh, I've Mickey. got Mickey and Mini. Yeah, they're the same. They got it's, Mickey. Mini. It's like a slushy or an ice cream cone. Yeah. Um, they're nine ninety nine each, and we got these uh, as gifts. Yeah, these are actually from the um, character warehouse at Vineland Avenue, and we actually paid two ninety nine for these. Oh, we did, yeah. yeah. They were like, I mean, they were just clearing the shelf. People were just grabbing them. So we, there's two outlets, two Disney outlets in the Orlando area. One at Premium Outlets International Drive, which is up near Universal, and one on Vineland Avenue, which is near Disney. And it's probably about 15 minutes maximum from Disney. Mm -hmm. So you can easily get an Uber or car there if you're not driving. And this year there wasn't as much good stuff, but these were an absolute steal. Yeah. And they've just been put out in the morning. We got their opening. And they're really gonna make really nice presents, aren't they? Yeah. And you get quite a lot of juice or squash in there, so perfect yeah. for a kid, isn't it? 2 dollars and when they were originally 9 dollars 
I forgot we got a bargain on these. I was reading really 9 99 yeah, but they're actually 2 99 weren't they? There we go. Yeah, so, yes, I like that. We also went to the Trader, Trader Sam's. Sam's. Yep. Tiki Room. So, we got... Um, the, you both got one of these. Yeah, I got, oh, well, I got one as well. Really, really cool little glasses. And these were actually from the shop in the Polynesian. And we've always eyed these up, but they're quite heavy and we thought this is a trip to do it. Mm -hmm. They're 17 99 each, but they've got like the little tiki. But we're gonna hopefully do some really cool, drink, colorful <laughs> drinks in here. I'm thinking like a, a luminous, like greeny kind yeah. of drink would really go well to bring out the face on the glass, so. Definitely, if you're not following us on Instagram yet, watch this space, so the future colorful drinks are coming. <laughs> Um, we'll do our best. Yes. Um, we also went to the uh, uh, Japan Pavilion in Epcot in World Showcase and we picked up, we kind of like picking up some uh, sweets, candy from, from the pavilion to remind us of our, our time in Japan. Is it Mitsukushi? Mitsukushi? Mitsukushi, I think, I think it is. We call it Mitsukushi, but it may be yeah. wrong. If it's wrong, comment below. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know. Um, and I always get this like, uh, it's called Giant Caplico. I don't know if anyone's seen this before, but it's like like a honeycomb strawberry top to it with a cone at the bottom. So basically like an ice cream, but in candy form. And Rich loves weird candy, so yeah. it's like a heaven for him. I actually found this in Japan, so when I saw it at the pavilion, I was like, I know I like that. <laughs> um, and we also got some gummies as well. I don't know what that says on the front. No, it is in English, so the flavours are. The flavours are... Uh, light chi, mango and strawberry. Sound good. Yeah. So we picked up those two. And another pin. Now obviously the food and wine, they have some special pins. This year, this one, I knew before we went that we wanted it, didn't we? Yeah. And it's Spaceship Earth with Mickey and his chef's hat on. Like how amazing is that? Such a cool pin. Yeah. And this one was 14 99 And one of the nice features, it does open up. No, it doesn't actually. It's the other one that opens up. <laughs> we'll find the other one, and then there's another one that opens up. This one doesn't, but I just love that pin so much. Yeah, it kind of encompasses so it's everything that we like about Epcot. So it's got the Spaceship Earth, it's got Mickey on there. So, do you yeah. want to do the one that opens up? <laughs> this is the one that opens up. <laughs> so, this is uh, the Food and Wine Limited Release Pass Holder pin. Oh, this is another amazing pin. So, yeah. again, another benefit of annual pass holder you get exclusive merchandise. And once you open it up, you've got none other than Figment. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> so this one was fourteen ninety nine, and I, I really like the ones that are limited release because they're, they're just extra special. Yeah. And on the front, you've got the year 2018 and World Showcase. Yeah, so nice. Yeah. It's like, great, love that one. Uh, another bargain we picked up at the premium outlets, some Christmas cards. So we've got Mickey and Minnie there on, with uh, Pluto on their sleigh. And this is 16 cards, and they were from 19.99 reduced down to 7.99. So again, and oh, they've got okay. four different designs on the back. Let's show you there. But we just thought they were a really good deal, so we bought some of those just to send to friends and family for Christmas and have a bit of Disneyness. Yeah, you can tell we're all getting in the Christmas spirit early. <laughs> yes, we're ready for Christmas. We, we are ready for Christmas. Halloween then Christmas. Uh, speaking of Halloween, we did pick up a Halloween pin as well. So we've got Mickey and Minnie on their broomsticks, which is quite cool. Uh, this one was nine ninety nine, and it's got the nice new card design, which is a nice white card behind it. It's like Disney Parts collection, so it's a different backing, like you say. Yeah. So yeah, we picked up that one nine ninety nine. Turvis time. So we've got really, if you don't know us already, we love Tervis mugs. They come in two sizes. They come in the tall one and they also come in like a smaller one as well. And um, they're really great for hot or cold drinks. They really keep them cold. Yep. And this year we got the food and wine, Epcot food and wine struggled to come out because of the lighting. But it's got food and wine there. And then it's on the other side, it's got Chef Mickey. Yeah. So, a memento of this year's Food and Wine Festival and a Tervis. So it ticks all the boxes. And that was twenty six ninety nine. I know we do buy a lot of Tervis mugs, but we use them for like home, work, when we go away in the car. They're just so practical. So yeah, they're really, really good. So I'm going to do a t-shirt now. So this one is 
pretty special. So this is to celebrate the grand opening of Toy Story Land and it's got the Ooh Aliens. If I just hold it up, you can see the aliens there. Yay! Um, so this actually was released, um, was it to cast members? It's a cast member exclusive. So cast member exclusive, so actually on the sleeve, it's got cast member on the sleeve there. It's like really special. Uh, this was a gift for my birthday for my friends Amanda and Mitchell. Um, so unfortunately I can't give the price. No. But and it it's does cast show, member exclusive as well. It just shows on that Toy Story opening bit on the back. Toy Story opening on the back, so... This is going to get some use, seriously. Yeah, and if you remember, Rich is obsessed with aliens, so this is the best present you could possibly get. Yes, <laughs> this is your first time to the channel. I am literally Green Aliens and Toy Story obsessed. <laughs> and I got a Halloween t-shirt, so this is the back of it. So you've got um, Mickey on his broomstick there, and I think it's Chip and Dale, little bats. It's so cute. And on the front it just says, Happy Halloween. 2018 and it's got like a really cool like graveyard feel to it. I think that's Day Donald Donald yep Goofy and Pluto at the bottom. So yeah this was a really cool Halloween t-shirt. I actually wore this for Mickey's Not So Scary. Yeah. And I'll get you the price. I've I've screenshot the pricing. Was to... it one of the ones you found before you went we went away? Was this one of the ones that you... I knew I was gonna get it, yeah. yeah. And this was thirty four ninety nine and it glows in the dark. So it's a cool t-shirt. We are prepared with the pricing here. Yes. <laughs> uh, just checking on Willow to make sure she's fast asleep still. <laughs> um, continuing on the alien theme, I got the sipper. So if you've not seen this before, this is one of the green alien sippers. So you've got the, the claw there going down the middle with the alien at the bottom, Toy Story Land on the top, and it is so cool. It says, ooh, the claw. Oh, and it does light up. I don't know if that's going to come out on camera, but... It's different settings on the light, isn't it? Oh, there's well. different settings. Let me... Oh, yeah, different settings. That might come out a bit better. So you can just see it so flashing. So cool. But that is green. Green flashing. A green flashing alien cup with a claw. <laughs> <laughs> and you can buy it empty, or you can buy it with a drink. So at, yes. at Backlot Express, they were selling it with a drink in it. Mm -hmm. And I already knew that Rich was getting this, and he was he saw it, he was like, I want one of those drink cups. I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> we'll get one later in the holiday. I was literally at the stand trying to buy it, and I was wondering, why are you deterring me from buying it? <laughs> Later did I find out that it was actually for my birthday. Yeah. Uh, these are fourteen ninety nine as well. And widely available in Hollywood Studios. Yes. Uh, next, another pin. And this is a Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party pin. And it's a limited release. Um, I really love this pin so much. We got it on the way into Mickey's Not So Scary. And that one was $15.02. <laughs> so it's a very strange price. <laughs> $15.02? <laughs> yeah, look, $15.02. That is true. It's actually true. That's true. Strange <laughs> price, but that was it. So um, another really nice one. Yeah. I've just realised that we've not done any artwork yet. Artwork. Seriously, artwork. We love art. After going to the, if you saw our January vlogs, we went during the Festival of the Arts, and mm. um, we've got even more hooked than we already were. Yeah. So, using some of my birthday money, I did go a little bit out and buy some artwork for us, and we stayed one night at the Wilderness Lodge, which was part of my birthday surprise, celebrating 30. So, I obviously had to get as part of the vacation memories, Larry, is it Larry Dobson? Dotson. Dotson, Larry Dotson, sorry. Uh, for $35, it was the Wilderness Lodge. Look at that. It'll, it'll always remind us of that lovely stay. Yeah, seriously, we had such a great stay at the Wilderness Lodge, didn't we? So good. So it's gonna go on the wall. We've gotta find space, we've got all this artwork. Yeah, so look forward to the house tour, which is coming <laughs> later as part of Vlogmas, and we'll it's... show you where everything's gone. Vlogmas oh, is coming. It's coming. <laughs> I'll do a mug again. So I've got this really cool Mickey Mouse mug. It's quite a simple mug. It's just Mickey and it says Mickey Mouse on the other side. Red inside. But I just thought it's just a really nice, straightforward mug of my favourite character. Yeah. Thirteen ninety nine. Really good. We've got a fair few Mickey mugs on the go, but we yeah, do. that was a nice mug. <laughs> um, I'm going to do a pin because it's going to follow the, uh, paint, uh, the picture that I just showed. So we picked up, we have a habit of picking up the pins when we stay in a resort. We have to get the pin for the resort. Wilderness Lodge. <laughs> yeah. So this will be very nicely added to our collection. And we actually got this for 5 99 So was this in the character warehouse as well? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, which was really good, really good considering we were staying in the resort. Yes, so um, Wilderness Lodge. 
pin bought. Um, we were talking to our friends Karen and Rachel when we were out there and they mentioned that there's this metal um, kind of art thing that you can buy of the main entrance sign for Disney World and we found it in Mouse Gear in Epcot. Um, I may put a picture up of this one but it actually shows that it's got all the materials of Metal Earth 3D sign and you actually just make it and then it, I'll actually just show you the back as well, it actually just makes a metal version of the sign. And they had quite a few different versions out there, didn't they? They had like, mm -hmm. I think a castle, yeah. but they're all on display in mouse gear. And this one was 19.99. Yeah. So thank you very much, Karen, for that and recommending it. Yes. It's really good. I'm really looking forward to putting that up. Um, and if you, you might know that we're into our tea. So we got the Wonderland tea selection, which is, it comes in like this cool little tin. It's not like a, a metallic pit tin, but a sort of like cardboard tin. Yeah. So you've got um, lemon honey chamomile, English breakfast, the mad tea part of blend, Earl Grey, topsy turvy tea blend, and it's got the different characters on the side as well. So not only does it sound like awesome tea, but you get an awesome like container to put it in as well. Yeah, and this was a gift from my friends Amanda and Mitchell again. Yes, so thank we didn't have any guys. pricing, but yeah. The, if you haven't tried the Alice in Wonderland tea, it's really nice. When we went on our 2017 trip, my nan bought some Alice in Wonderland tea and it was really nice. Yeah. Thank you very much. I like that. Uh, I am going to do another piece of artwork. This, I've, we've got this picture as a small picture, a small postcard, but we saw it and we were just like, we need to have this. It is the most beautiful picture. And you've got Mickey and Minnie there on their deck chairs out looking at Magic Kingdom. And it says right at the bottom, Mickey and Minnie. And then in little writing, it says, wish you were here. And it's just so nice. It's like, I think it's the beach of the Polynesian. Yeah, it is, Disney's Polynesian. And we bought this in the shop at the Polynesian mm -hmm. uh, before we went to Trader Sam's. And it was $80, but it is a much larger print. Look at that. that, I mean... It's big. It's seriously. one of the biggest prints we've actually got, I think. Well, sorry. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> Just stab <laughs> you with it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we, we obviously got 20% uh, off of that, so... What was got, this, $80? So we got discount. $16 off, so yeah. it's a big saving. Mm -hmm. And that is gonna, definitely going to go up somewhere on our wall. Yes, definitely. I'm going to move on to some ears. Now, you can do your ears at the same time as well, because they kind <laughs> of match. <laughs> Um, so I got the alien ears. Again, you can see a theme developing here. Um, These are the best ears ever. They actually do. I'm going to show you up front. <laughs> they light up. Look and at the that. eyeballs move. And the eyeballs move. So I'm going to try and move. <laughs> <laughs> they do move. Yep. Um, so I actually wore these during Mickey's Not So Scary. Um, they were a gift for my birthday. Do you have the price? I was just checking if I've got the price. Um, you can model them while, I can while model check them. him. <laughs> while my glamorous assistant tries to get the price for us. I did forget to get that price. I couldn't find the receipt for that. Uh, comment below if you if you know the price maybe or or you know, send us a message. I don't have the price. I think from memory they're about twenty five dollars there or thereabouts. Um and so they should go behind the ears, shouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I got the slinky dog ears. Yeah. Or well, we both got them, but Obviously Slinky Dog was a new attraction for us this trip and it kind of was the highlight of our trip, being a new ride. Yeah. We rode it three or four times, I think, in the end. Uh, three, I think. I think three or four times, yeah. Yeah, especially at night. The best thing, recommendation with Slinky Dog is to sit at the back of Slinky Dog. Much better at the back. You I just, love how you're describing this. Using yeah, just the back. <laughs> and also at night is a really good experience at night. It's, yeah. all lit, it's really good lighting. The track lights up and you can follow it on the track. And it's just the whole, I, I, in my opinion, I think you agree, it's just a whole different experience. Yeah. Like visually, um, doing it at night and day. So yeah, really good. These were twenty seven ninety nine, which is actually, I found them quite expensive for a pair of ears. And we did debate it, but yeah. they're so nice, we just had to get them. And they got a little slinky bit there. You may just take them to a different Disney park, but yeah. Yeah, it's good to take stuff to different Disney parks around the world if you can, because then you don't always find it there. Exactly. Oh, who's next? Are you next? You're next. next. I'm next. <laughs> <laughs> candy floss. So I have to pick, I love candy floss, and this is like different colours. I think there's blue and red in there, and um, this is, I can't remember how much this was. I think it was five ninety nine. I think it was five ninety nine as well. Uh, it's cherry berry and blue raspberry. Ooh. 
artificially flavoured. <laughs> so yeah. You're on holiday. It's You're fine. on holiday. It's fine. Well, not on holiday anymore, but yeah, a little treat in the evening. <laughs> and I'm going to do another pin now. This one is the Hitchhiking Ghosts, and this was another pickup from the outlet, five ninety nine. So you've got the three ghosts there in the suitcase. One real top tip is if you or your kids or your family are starting to collect pins, head to an outlet first because you can pick up pins as low as 2 dollars mm -hmm. And it just kickstarts the, the collection. You can do some trading. So it's a great way to get genuine pins at a really good price and then do some trading to pick other pins. So we don't actually trade, we just collect pins. But you know, for five ninety nine, when it was probably originally nine ninety nine, it's it's a great way to get some cheap pins, and they have good ones. They do. And on the subject of pin trading, we've actually watched pin trading happening, yeah. especially in Epcot, where the pin trading station uh, pin centre is. Um, and it's really interesting to, to sort of watch people and and see how it works, and just the, all the different pins. It's just yeah, amazing. Really good. So, speaking of pins. <laughs> Uh, this is another one with a cool uh, Disney Parts collection on the back. So it's Mickey with his wings. Oh, little bat Mickey. Little bat Mickey with a with a cauldron as well. So very very Halloweeny. Um, and th this one I can't see the price. Uh, Nine ninety nine. Nine ninety nine for this one. So and it does say on there, prepare to scare. Prepare to scare. Yeah, prepare yeah. to scare. <laughs> okay, but Mickey's not so scary. <laughs> uh, as we mentioned before, we went to Trader Sam's. It's a little kind of cocktail place. You are allowed children in there, I think, until 8 p.m. Okay. I think it was 8 p.m. as the cutoff. There is a cutoff point to so double check before you go. Um, and it's just every time a drink comes out, there's a different kind of atmosphere or Some chant sort of or chant reaction. The room reacts to different yeah. drinks. Put it that way. It does, and we, you, your, your cocktails are quite expensive, but you do have the option to buy and keep the glass. So we had a cocktail. Mm -hmm. I think it was a hippopotamai tai. Hippopotamai tai. <laughs> hippopotamai tai in one of these. Panorama G call it. Yeah, <laughs> and it thought, we thought it was a really cool little cup, and it's got Trader Sam's grog grotto on there. Grog grotto. Grog grotto. <laughs> and that was nine ninety nine extra on top of the cocktail yeah so and then, all they do is they don't make you use the one you've had so on the way out you get a receipt and you actually get to collect a new one yes so that's a really cool one again rich had the submarine nautilus nautilus um which was humongous huge. if you if you know what the nautilus is at trader sands you will know exactly how big it is it's huge two straws coming out put yeah. it that way and it was just a little bit too big to get home so we didn't buy that cup <laughs> <laughs> if it was a little bit smaller maybe we would have got that back as well yeah um you've got more artwork i do have more i've artwork. been waiting for this one <laughs> so this is basically it is the castle in magic kingdom but not just the castle in magic kingdom this is our favorite viewing point of the castle so it's just before you come across the bridge yeah, just as if you go right up to the castle and take a left across the bridge, as if you're heading towards, um, what would we be heading towards? Like the Christmas shop. The Christmas shop, yeah. Um, and the Hall of Presidents. It's, yeah. to, it's that little bridge there. And there's just the best view of the castle, isn't there? Yeah, we, we love it. And we've taken many, many pictures there, many, many selfies. Uh, and it's actually titled uh, Majestic. So, I mean, that says it all. Uh, this one was uh, thirty nine ninety nine, so not, not as you know, not as expensive as the the other one we showed. So They're almost as big. So almost as big. The size is there. So, but this is, and you've got the swans on there as well. So yeah, and just to say about getting things like this home, they are really well wrapped. Yeah, um, they do wrap them in um, like the cardboard corrugated cardboard stuff they have. Yeah. But you can also pop to like Walmart and get some cardboard, which we've done in the past as well, and just try and lay it flat. So it's really good. Um, did you have the t-shirt? So I got this really nice black Mickey t-shirt, and it's got little different logos on it, like Mickey Mouse. Just really, really liked it straight away. And this was from World of Disney. And I'll just get you a price. <laughs> I've screenshot Let's all the pictures. Just admire this t-shirt. Seriously, it is nice. I can't wait to see you wearing this. And it was twenty four ninety nine. Um, I like that one. The only thing is, it's black. So black, obviously, isn't you want to wear at night in Florida when it's so hot. But it's a really nice t shirt. Or in the winter. 
or buy a white t-shirt like you. <laughs> I just You've live got in a nice white new white t-shirt. Yeah. So I've got a white t-shirt as well, which is uh, it's actually your character on the t-shirt. It is. So it's got the one and only Mickey Mouse. American legend. American legend. It's such a great t-shirt. And I actually bought this from the Wilderness Lodge shop. And this one was twenty nine ninety nine. Thank you very much, Glamorous <laughs> Assistant. Twenty nine ninety nine. Um, just be wary. My only um, advice is be wary of the sizing um, because I actually went when I put it up against me. Um, it, I thought it would fit, and it, it, when I went back to the room and put it up me again against me again, it it, it didn't fit. I, in my opinion, yeah. so, so you changed the size. I did you? change the size. Yeah, but they were fine as long as you had a receipt. They're fine to change it, and the label was on. Yeah. Um, the luggage tags, we loved our Epcot luggage tag and there's this, the, the four parks range they do. And so we got the Magic Kingdom on this time and it's such a nice luggage tag. And they're really quite strong and sturdy and it's got a little bit to write in called Travel with Character. Um, there. And we saw them all but Epcot ones were sold out everywhere this trip. Literally, in every store we saw these being sold in, there were no Epcot ones. So we wanted to buy another Epcot one, so yeah. hopefully they get back in stock. And they were just twelve ninety nine. And this one we got actually in World of Disney, I think. Mm -hmm. Or yeah, I think so. Yeah. Or Fort Wilderness. I think it might be Fort Wilderness. Fort Wilderness. Yeah. In the shop at Fort Wilderness. So we're gonna guard the Epcot one with our life. <laughs> yeah. In case I never get it back in stock. <laughs> Um, I forgot to mention, because we went to Trader Sam's, of course we got the Trader Sam's pin. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> That's a cool pin. It is a cool pin. So this one was £12.99. Um, and you've got the volcano in the background, so you've got like the tiki totem pole kind of thing. And it's cool. It's gold as well, so it's, you know, different. Uh, so I like that one. It's really nice. And another pin, we also got a Polynesian pin. Now we stayed at the Polynesian in January and we forgot to buy the pin for our stay and we oh. always have a thing about buying the pin. <laughs> so this, because we were there this time, we remembered and we went and got it and it's such a nice pin. It's got Aloha and it's got like the tiki god they have in the lobby. And that one was also £12.99. Yep. I actually can't believe I've left it this long to show this because this took us such an effort to try and find. Oh, it was hard to track down. <laughs> this this comes with a story. So this is the, I'm going to say the Mickey clock because <laughs> it, it was such an accomplishment to get it. Um, I just thought this was great because it is so cool. I've not seen it before and it would go well um, decoration wise in our living room and it's it's just something different and we found this we, we, to be fair we found it in the most multiple places but they only had the display one left yeah and we really didn't want the display one so we well the first time we saw it was in um hollywood studios and they had loads of them yeah and we were like oh we'll come back another day famous last words yeah and as you do you never do um so hollywood studios had loads Everywhere else had just the display one. Just the display one. Where did we find it? In the Christmas store. The Christmas store in Disney Springs. Yeah. So, yeah. We got help from so many staff, but yeah, we found it. Uh, 39 99 and this was also bought with my birthday money, so. And it's just one battery, isn't it? One AA, it looks like. One AA battery in the back, yep. And you've got Mickey's hands as the hands. <laughs> yeah. So I just, I love it. I really do love that. That is one of our fav my favourite purchases yeah. as well. Um, now there's a store in the US called Hallmark, you may have heard of it, they do cards and so on. Um, we did a Hallmark order online and had it shipped to Disney and they have some really nice stuff. They have this really cool Mickey countdown, like calendar, so you can change obviously the month, the day, everything on it and it says my oh my what a wonderful day and this was 26 95 it's heavy. But yeah, it was really, really good, and we were really chuffed with that. Really chuffed with that. And we also got these, a couple of the same thing, but we got these, if you can dream it, you can do it, little placards, which is kind of our meant, like, approach to life, is like, if you can dream it, you can do it. And I'm not dreaming. Yeah, so we <laughs> wanted to get these, and they were 9 95 and they've got like a little bit at the back where you can stand them up. Stand them up, So if yeah. you want to display them. So you could stick them on the wall or stand them up, couldn't you? Yeah. And we also got some little thanks cards with Mickey and Minnie on from Hallmark as well. And they were 4 49 And there's 
10 of them in there. That's so when we, you can ship stuff to Disney, they are fine with you doing that. There is a $5 charge per parcel. We got charged $5 for that one mm -hmm. and they just hold it for you. So what you have to do is when you order online, you put your name and your arrival date and in the title of the delivery and then Disney, your Disney resort know and they keep them. And then what you do is call down. I mean, we had a voicemail, I think, saying you've got a package. Yeah, we had a voicemail saying you've got a package. So we just called down and they were really quickly, you know, quick to bring it up and all, yeah, fine. all fine. So yeah, it's, it's something you want to do. I would normally order about two weeks before, just so it's got a week for shipping and then you do it. Mm -hmm. And uh, last few bits, we went to, um, I saw you, uh, yeah, Cinderella's Royal Table. And uh, this is a bit of a freebie rather than purchase. <laughs> <laughs> but when you get, when you dine at Cinderella's Royal Table, you get the choice of a sword or a wand, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. So we both went, went for swords. swords. And they're little nice little keepsakes. So when you factor in the cost of going there, it's worth it. And you also get some wishing stars. We got a little wishing star each, which they let you keep. I thought so, that was a nice touch. I didn't actually know that they did that, so that was a nice, nice touch. Nice little extras. And we went to Mickey's Not So Scary, so what does that come with? Candy! Candy. <laughs> and this year the bags were the Celebrate the Incredibles 2 release and Ralph Breaks the Internet. Yeah. Wreck-It Ralph. Ralph Breaks the Internet. And we've eaten a lot of our candy already, so there isn't a lot left. You did get like a nice package, but most of it we've yeah. eaten. So, and I've just seen inside, this didn't come from Mickey's Not So Scary, but I got given, as we came into the beach club one night, so was it the Yacht Club? Yacht Club. One of the two. Some Mickey stickers by a very friendly cast member. You did. <laughs> so I haven't used them yet, but yeah. <laughs> um, also, just um, thinking of Disney stuff, Walmart also do quite a lot of Disney stuff and it's really reasonably priced. On the main vlog, you'll see we've videoed some of it mugs and things like that. This little bag, it's like a little Minnie Mouse, um, look like a little kid zip open little bag. And it's gonna make a great present for our niece. And I think this was 5 99 Yeah, I think it was. And it's not bad. Um, and we also, in Walmart, got these really cool, good value autograph books. Yeah, I think they were $2 or $2.99. Like, seriously, $2, $2 or 2 or $3 for a, a autograph book. So you've got all the characters on the front and inside you've got, I think it's all the same picture inside, but you've got like the Mickey hand balloon. Yeah, so we got that for our nephew and he just likes drawing, he loves Mickey Mouse, so it's a nice little book that he can just draw in. Yeah, um, yeah so even if you don't use it for autographs, yeah. it's just a scribble book. Just a couple of dollars. Yeah. Bargain. So we've got a couple more pins. So this pin is kind of like Mary and Poppins, isn't it? Yeah, Mary and Bert in Mickey Mary, and Minnie form. In Mickey and Minnie form. So this one was $9.99. And again, haven't seen this before. So I thought it was cool. So, and we love Mary Poppins and the new film's coming out. So yeah, we'll have to get that one. And finally a Wilderness Lodge pin. And this one's just really cool because it's really different and it's got like a felt feel to it. Uh, and that one was $9.99 from Wilderness Lodge. I think that's the haul. There's just a couple of freebies we want to talk to you about. Mm -hmm. The first one is Ghirardelli chocolates. So at Disney Springs, there's a Ghirardelli store. There it is. And if you pop in there, you'll always get handed a chocolate. Always. Always. <laughs> and they do vary, but generally it's the caramel one. Mm -hmm. But also, if you are going during the Food and Wine Festival, in the Festival Centre is a little Ghirardelli place, and they've got like some amazing displays made out of, I think they had Toy Story Land made out of chocolate. Toy Story Land made out of chocolate. And one year, I remember the Maleficent yeah. um, chocolate like statue. So pretty impressive. So if you do end up in the uh, Festival Centre, then check that out. Definitely. And one thing we really would recommend is picking up if you're celebrating for any reason, you can get some buttons. Yeah, birthday badge. Birthday badge. So they, they I'm celebrating, happy birthday. Um, I can't remember if there's any other, other ones. Or... Yeah, there's a few other ones, I think, yeah. but like first visit. First visit, that's it, um, yeah. But they're really good because if it is your birthday or near your birthday, Disney will often give you like a free dessert or something in, in, your, in your meals. They like to help you celebrate your birthday in some way. So, and it was my birthday when I was there. Yeah. So I had to pick up a birthday badge. Great place to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. So I think that's actually everything. I'm just scanning to make sure we haven't missed anything because we are just littered with <laughs> Disney stuff around. Yes. 
But we just want to say thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this haul. Again, as we said, we saved a lot of money with our annual pass. I recommend that. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so stay tuned for full vlogs coming very soon. Thank you for everybody who left us comments and watched all the mini vlogs. Uh, we love reading all your comments and we love filming them. Um, and they were just a little snapshot of what was to come in our full vlog series. Yeah. So we'll see you all soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.